Hey, welcome back to the channel. As you guys already saw on the previews, we are going to design an area next to a tennis court. But before we start talking more details, we're gonna have a little thing here on the side. That's right, disclaimer. Yes, these are my ideas and you can use them if this happens to be a situation. Okay, let's get started. So, um, as you guys already saw on the previews, uh, this project specifically was for a homeowner that decided to put his own tennis court. Now, this may be your situation, maybe, maybe not, who's to say, right? But if it is, let's say that this is something you might wanna do. Now, let's talk about details about this specific project and what went on. At the beginning of the previews, you guys saw the before and then the after. A lot of things had to happen and this project overall was around $50,000 give or take. Uh, and, and this does include a few things and I'll speak about that in just a second if you would allow me to. So let's talk about design and what the homeowner was looking for in this specific case so he does have this tennis court that he's working on there they're uh finishing it up but he wanted an area for his friends and or family members to kind of hang out while maybe you know two or four people depending on how many uh people he had invited to play tennis would be playing while the rest were kind of hanging out now the idea of this is to have a patio an area where he would have a tiki bar and eventually Eventually, kind of dress it up real nice, you know, some stuff going on, places to sit, potentially, you know, chairs, uh, tables, that's a, that sort of thing. Uh, so as we were uh, designing this, a few things had to occur. One is that we had to see the level for this patio. I mentioned this a few times, and I'm going to keep mentioning it over and over again, that you have to find out your level. Depending on the situation, you may need to either build a retaining wall at either a one point or the other, or kind of increase by adding more soil or cutting in an, at another area of soil so you can have the area to be nice and flat or flat as possible. Now, this may be a thing that you can do, but you definitely want to think about drainage. Drainage is very, very important regardless of what kind of project you're thinking about. In this case, uh, the back portion of the patio was definitely lower than the front. So essentially what this ended up being is that the front, we had to kind of raise it up and as it kind of went towards the back portion, uh, this kind of was going down. So because this is going to potentially create a problem, we had to cut some uh, dirt in the back and create a swell. That way when it did rain and or snow in this area, all the water would stay there and kind of drain all the way to the front of the portion, at least in this case, of the tennis court. So that's kind of what we started with, cutting some soil and then kind of preparing all this area. Now, the portion of this specific patio was of 60 feet long by 20, Eight deep essentially it's 20 but there's a little portion in the back where it would be the area for the tiki bar so that area was roughly around eight feet um, he didn't want it too big essentially he wanted like this sort of smaller area and that's as it came out towards the tennis court itself was gonna be nice and big where you could put some chairs long chairs or whatever it is that they're worth thinking about again this is something that uh, will be up to you and we did mix this pavers I think I've spoken about this before as far as the pavers there's a quite vast of selection depending on the company that you want to go with uh you know some will give you the mixtures of uh, uh colors uh some tans black reds and so forth and so on and there are some sort of uh like unilock a company that creates uh, different products where it will give you more solid colors so you're thinking of a, maybe like a gray maybe like a tan maybe like a red sort of more on a single color they can provide that um again it depends on your taste in this case uh the homeowners kind of want to have something more natural and it was two blends and the thing about the blends is that they'll have some that look really similar so maybe from the pictures you might not see a whole lot of that uh, but there were two so around the edges we had one that was more on the right side of things actually correction on the outside was more tan and in the inside was more red but that's on this specific case yours may not be 
that case and you may want something different that's really up to you uh, pavers different sizes the same thing you can have some that can be four by fours four by six six by sixes six by nines and it can go on and on and as far as the pattern that's going to be really up to you in this case we kind of use a random uh different situations calls for different things so keep that in mind this may or may not be for you so that's what the paver area was about uh, now, as we moved along, you want it to kind of blend to the existing landscape that we also took care of, uh, but also with this more native area. So we did a mixture of different shrubs specifically. And again, this doesn't probably, this may or may not apply to you depending on what you like. But in this case, he wanted uh, Russian Sages and Blue Spireas. Yes, they are sort of similar, but they're not the same. There are two different plants, though the color of the leaves are going to be a little similar as far as that blue purplish look that comes with them. Some, uh, if you look at them, uh, the Russian sage is going to be more on the wildy side of things versus the blue mist, where they're going to be a bit more round. And keep in mind that if you leave them wild, they will look all kind of you know crazy. You definitely want to do a little bit of pruning on top, you know, roundish. I would probably suggest, especially for the blue mist areas. We also did a mixture of ornamental grasses and also some junipers, uh, specifically some buffalo junipers and also some blue rugs. Again, you may like those, you may not, so you can mix it up. If you want to do something like maybe some evergreens but not junipers, you can always do, say, a globe spruce or maybe even a mugo pine. It depends on what your taste is. But, you know, for the purposes of making it look nice and kind of fit the overall area, those would work. At the same time, we also use some lilacs. We didn't want them to be too big, so we kind of went for the bloomer and lilacs. Again, you may like those, you may not. Some people like them, uh, especially some people do like uh, lilacs that have a lot of fragrance. So you may think about those, maybe a uh, common purple lilac. Those tend to be a little bit bigger than the bloomerang, uh, generally around uh, 12, 15 feet uh, height and about the same as far as width. So this may work out for you, essentially it becomes more of a hedge. Uh, keep in mind that depending on where you are, it's going to grow faster if you are on a lower altitude versus higher altitudes so that's kind of up to you uh, in this case we also used um, a mixture of stones dry river bed uh, to kind of get the water kind of flowing out so you can kind of see in a design and some stepping stones because it looks awesome now stepping stones talk a little bit about that sizes many sizes right you can do 12 by 12s 16 by 16s in this case we did 24s by 24s um, big enough for a foot uh, we kind of put them about um, a little under eight inches enough to where are you walking is pretty much where you're landing however i will say that it depends on the size of the person you know if you're taller you may want to you know adjust it if you're smaller you know as far as for kids if you know we're kind of going for that maybe a little closer a little tighter maybe six inches you know you'll have to kind of play around with that specific thing but overall i think somewhere between six and eight inches it fits pretty good you know depending on how wide you walk that's the point there. Um, we also did a mixture of uh, erosion control matting to kind of keep everything that was kind of moved around uh, and you know put it in place, uh, putting some native uh, seed to uh, have uh, some flowers kind of grow in the area. And also uh, the retaining walls. The retaining walls were already done by us prior to us building all this area just because of the way it was going to work out. So first we did the retaining walls, we did some steps in between. Now as far as steps, you could do different kinds. You can do native or natural boulders if you like uh, in this case we did not do that we got some pre uh, made uh, stone steps uh, you can get some of those uh, in different colors and all sizes as well uh, we got you know the ones that were uh, seven inches uh, as far as the step itself goes uh, three uh, actually this was were at four but you can do threes uh, I think that's a pretty good size you can definitely get them uh, larger uh, smaller I probably wouldn't go lower than three I think two and a half is still okay but two might be a little too tight um, right depending on the space you may have only enough of for space for that but you know keep that in mind you definitely want to have enough space this may be your thing this may be a thing that you want to do in the future but hey just giving you ideas for what can be done uh, 
So we need the uh, boulder walls that have time, steps as well, and eventually we kind of uh, built the rest. But yeah, this is what we did with this project. I think it looks phenomenal. What do you guys think? Now, as I mentioned before, this is about $50,000, uh, you know, give or take as far as money goes. This may not be the thing for you, but hey, why not, right? It's not a bad thing to dream until you get it. Anyhow, um, this is the design that it took, you know, for us to kind of get from the beginning to the end. Uh, and I want to hear your comments. What are your thoughts on all this? Uh, do you guys want more details? What kind of details would you like? for me to put in this videos. I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you like any of this, please give us a like. If you loved any of this, subscribe. We're gonna be putting more videos out there just to give you guys ideas, different situations, different scenarios. Anyhow guys, thank you very much. Please take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.